Hello, I'm Afeli. Welcome to Godot Quick Tips. The export keyword is very simple, but it has a lot of versatility and use cases. Here's how it works. You can basically put it before any variable, and then that variable will show up inside the editor. Then you can edit that variable from the editor, and if you add the same script to multiple objects, the different instances can have different values for the exported variables. The simplest way to use the export keyword is to just give it a variable type like any other variable. What shows up in the editor depends on what you set it to. Give it an integer and it'll show a number. Make it a string and it'll show a little text box. A boolean is a checkbox, a float is another number. Using it like this is very intuitive to me, but it can actually be used in a lot more elaborate ways. You can give it parentheses to make it what I call an advanced export. That's not an official name, but it sounds cool, so that's what I call it. With this, you can create a lot more customizable exports. You can export multi-line strings, files, other nodes. Basically, if you see it in the Godot editor, you can use it as an export. I can't go through all the things you can export because this is quick tips. I'll leave a link in the description to the official documentation though, which has examples for just about every single thing you can export. Okay, bye.